Hi, this video is a step-by-step -step detailed guide showing how to disassemble and upgrade the Asus ROG Strix Car 3. I will show you how to safely swap out the RAM, SSD, hard drive and how to deal with unexpected problems. It's the same process for every configuration of this laptop but also for 17-inch models of SCAR 3, HERO 3 and ASUS Strix G which is built the same way. In the video description you can find recommended storage drives, RAM compatible with the laptop and the timestamps to skip to any part of this video. I'm Chris from techfindreview.com and now let's get to work. To get access to the components we need to remove all the bottom lid, so get a small screwdriver and remove 11 screws holding it in place. Now you have to get some thin piece of plastic and slide around the body of the laptop to release the lid. There are little tabs that you have to push to make them let go. You will feel the exact spots where they are located. After you finish don't rush to pull the lid up, because inside there are two ribbon cables connecting the light bar with motherboard. Alright, now you have to disconnect the cables to be able to take off the lid. Behind the connectors you have the little white tags that you have to carefully tilt up to release the ribbon cable. When you finish you can take off the lid and inside you can see your M.2 SSD, 2.5 inch drive bay and two RAM slots. Before you start changing components it's good to disconnect the battery, so let's do it as first. Ok, so now let's install the hard drive. My laptop came with only M.2 SSD, but as you can see the caddy for 2.5 inch drive is already inside. You have to unscrew 4 screws and take it out. Now take your hard drive. In my case it's Seagate Fire CUDA hybrid drive that costs a little bit more than regular HDD but in proper conditions it can work nearly with the same speeds as SSD. You can check it out in the link below the video. Let's screw the caddy into the drive. There will be a gap, but it's ok because the drive will not be moving anyway. The next step is to plug the ribbon cable to the slot on the motherboard. On the back of the slot there is a little black tag that you have to gently tilt up. Then insert the cable and push down the tag to tighten it up. Now take the SATA connector and connect it to the drive. Place it all correctly in the drive bay. Please note that the ribbon cable should be under the drive. Now screw the caddy to the frame and it's done. Alright, it's done, so now I will show you how to add RAM. This is very simple process, just take one RAM stick and slide it into the slot at an angle then press it down until you hear a click. If you want to take it out, on the sides you have two little tabs. If you push them both, RAM will pop out. If you don't know which RAM you should buy, you can check the list with compatible RAM in the description. Your SCAR 3 probably came with M.2 SSD already installed, but if you want to swap it out, here is how to do it. There is only one screw, so remove it and pull out the SSD. Take your new drive and slide it into the slot at an angle. Then push it down, screw the screw in and it's done. If you finished your job, it's time to close the bottom, but before you do it, don't forget to connect the battery if you disconnected it. First you have to connect the light bar, so make sure that the white tag on the back of the connector is opened. 
then insert the cable and push down the tag to tighten it up. Do the same on the other side. Now place the lid on the laptop and push around the edges. Make sure that every tab clicked and you can start screwing the screws in. For some of you this is the end of job but my laptop didn't want to turn on. The screen was all black and the power button LED with keyboard were blinking. If you have the same problem follow the steps. First try to hold the power button for 30 seconds and check if the laptop would turn on. If it didn't help you have to do hard reset. You need to open the laptop again to disconnect the battery. Now hold the power button for 30 seconds again. Connect the battery, close the lid and your laptop should be working now. Alright, that's all for today and I hope your upgrade was successful. Feel free to ask questions in the comments and if you like this kind of videos, it would be awesome if you hit thumb up or maybe consider subscribing TechFinds for more. On my channel you can find the detailed laptop reviews, laptop comparisons, gaming benchmarks and more. Now thanks for your time and see you in the next video.